Today's video is brought to you by eWin Racing, the best source for gaming chairs and desks for those long gaming sessions. We have a playlist of our eWin chair and desk videos linked in the video description below. Save 30% off of everything using the discount code TECHDEALS. More details at the end of the video. Just as a side note, here's something else that, that I think a lot of people miss. And I tweeted this the other day as well, and of course, Will you find that? Our forum, uh, we can only give advice on the information that you give us. So the more information people give us, the better information we can give you guys. My advice is not all based upon frame rate charts. And for those of you buying off of frame rate charts, newsflash. To those who say it isn't all about the core count, <laughs> I would reply, it's not all about max FPS. Zero to 60 times aren't everything on a car either. Actually, yes, they are. Plaid. <laughs> yeah, but that thing handles like a pig. Um, I didn't talk about handling. I'm talking about zero to 60. How many car enthusiasts would rather have a Tesla Model S Plaid versus a LaFerrari? Hopefully the answer is zero. Or, okay, that's a little expensive, but I mean in terms of handling. Or how about even the new CA If Corvette? you're looking at handling, the Plaid is not the car for you. How about you say that? Oh, Rogue's got a point. Thanks, dear. I love you. The Ryzen 5 5600X benchmarks very nicely in a yeah, controlled Yeah, but new boy, you're missing the point. We're talking about freaking, okay, excuse me. We're talking about user experience, not FPS. If you want me to time you out or ban you, keep arguing. If you come at user experience, we can have a conversation. If you come at FPS, go away. The, 56, the 5600X is going to benchmark faster in a controlled environment than a 3700X. But it will not necessarily be a nicer computer to actually use. My i9-9900K at home benchmarks faster than my i9-10850XE does at the office. My i9 at the office runs at 3.8 gigahertz on 18 cores and 36 threads. It does not play games as fast as my i9-9900K does at 4.7 gigahertz at home, sometimes by a considerable margin. There might be dozens of frames per second difference between the two given an RTX 3090. If I could snap my fingers, I would replace the i9-9900K in my home gaming PC with an i9-10850K, not 10850K, an i9-10... There's too many freaking numbers, Intel. Shame on you, Intel. I'm, I'm giving you the Bonzo Award for the crappy product names. The i9-10980XE 18-core 36-thread Cascade Lake X processor. I would do that in a heartbeat. It would not be as fast for gaming. It would not post average FPS times as impressive, but good Lord, would it be a nicer multitasking experience. Well, that's that your user experience is multitasking. It is very hard, even with heavy multitasking at work, to fully load up the CPU on my i9 at the office. But my i9 at home- Oh, you managed the other day. Is not hard to, well, <laughs> That was challenge accepted. <laughs> that was challenge accepted. Why is it not working? Because you're going to do too much. <laughs> I had it doing a lot. <laughs> so why is this so slow? It's 18 calls, honey. <laughs> Jerry, thank you so much for the donation, mate. Um, he comes in saying the gaming performance of the 5600X is the same as the 5800X. I've I've had all the Ryzen 6 CPUs. I also have the 2700X and the sold the 3900X because the 5600X is a better value gaming CPU against all others. I have X570 motherboards. Well, if gaming is your use case, then you did the right thing. I wouldn't game on a 5600X. Mm -mm, a 5600X 
will benchmark faster than my i9 9900K. Mm -hmm. But your 9900K. No, put put aside the multitasking. It's but frame times. Frame. My 9900K will beat your 5600X in frame times. Yep. Not an average frame rate, but it'll beat it in smoothness. Division two, Ghost Recon Breakpoint, Cyberpunk, Valhalla. Yep. I. The, the per core performance difference isn't that great. Zen 3 is faster, but not massively so. But the two extra cores swamps the IPC difference when it comes to multi-threaded games. Son of a Tran, thank you. Uh, Son of a Tran's friend is planning two builds around a 3070 Ti 1440p AAA gaming. He wants something more than six core 3600 but less than a 5800X suggestion? An i7 10700F for 220 bucks. If you can find one. It's still eight. But how do you go less 5800X? 3700X, 220. Well, no, I'm trying to understand. Six cores is a 3600, eight cores is a 5800. There's no in between. Price. The 3600 might be 160 and the 5800X is 400. He's looking for something price-wise in the middle. Well then Intel, which is what you said. Or if you're near a Micro Center, 220 bucks for a 3700X isn't bad. Nope, there you go. Um, What's next, Ben? Hang on a second. You got more? For those of you defending your 50, I'm willing to bet that at least half the people trying to defend the 5600X own a 5600X and they don't want to think that they don't own the optimal CPU. They don't own, own the optimal CPU. And what they did is they watched benchmarks from other YouTubers that showed bar graphs, and they personally have one computer, and so they're just and hoping they, slash assuming. And they assuming made a mistake. They made the best available choice they had with the information they had at the time. We all do it. Oh, you can't compare a 1950X or a 5600X. No, that's... That's, that's, that's silly. That's the wrong question. And it's too far out of whack. Yes, in that case, a 5600X would demolish a 1950X. The Zen 1 performance wasn't there. No. Uh, ben says, thank you, Ben. I won a new egg shuffle for, for uh, let's see, a Gigabyte Vision 3080 Ti and a Gigabyte Z590 Aorus Master Motherboard for 1922. Is that GPU okay for a... Th Before we answer that. 30 Oh, is, I think it's a CPU. When Zen 2 came... Hang on, hang on. Okay, I'm not done. On. Oh, you're not? Okay. When Zen 2 came out... I'm, this is going to be the period at the end of the sentence, and then we're going to stop talking about this. Well, you guys keep talking yeah, about yeah, it, but yeah, I'm yeah, done. Yeah, 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 yeah. When Zen 2 launched in July of 2019, do you remember we got asked endlessly? 2700X or 3600X? Yeah. Oh, God, yeah. All the time. Zen plus eight cores versus Zen 2 six cores. Yep. Yeah. And I said at the time, all else being equal, I'll take the 2700X. Yep. The 3600X benchmark's better, but the 2700X is just nicer to use. Had more cores. The same is true now with a 3700X versus a 5600X. A all else being equal, that? I will take a 3700X over a 5600X. My answer won't change because you argue with me. Yep. I have sufficient time using all of those chips, I'm comfortable with my argument. I believe that the vast majority of people, the middle 80% of the market, should buy the slower eight core chip versus the faster six core chip. The Zen 2 is not so much slower than Zen 3 that it's going to kill you to get a 3700X and you'll enjoy the multitasking performance more than you'll miss the frames you've lost over the 5600X. Now I said the middle 80%. The 10% of the market who wants to play CSGO at 300 frames per second at minimum detail with an optimized computer, good for you. You're on the wrong YouTube channel. I don't cater to you. The other 10% of you who want to run Blender and render videos and multitask and run virtual machines at the same time, I also don't cater to you. You're on the other end of the spectrum. I'm looking at what the typical average person who has between a 60 hertz and 144 hertz monitor and just wants to enjoy a few games, what will they have a better overall experience with? 
You can disagree with me because you want to play on a 360 hertz expensive monitor or because you're a hyper competitive gamer. Good for you. I don't give advice to such people. So in when Zen 2 came out, I advise get the 2700X over the 3600X. Now I'm advising getting a 3700X over a 5600X if you cannot afford more. Frankly, there have been so many deals on the i7 10700s. We've seen several of them at like $220. Why aren't you buying that? Unless you have a frothing at the mouth hatred of Intel, in which case, I hate to tell you, but they're both large publicly traded multinational billion dollar corporations. You know what I'm care about? You stop loving companies. They then I'll love you back. And that's all I have to say about that. That's my final answer. And I'm not going to change it because you, you try to argue with me. Ewin Racing has a wide selection of chairs to fit all shapes and sizes of gamers, ranging from petite to cuddly, they have something for every type of gamer. Not just sizes, but colors and material options as well, including red, blue, purple, pink, orange, and more, plus cloth and leather choices. We have over half a dozen chair and desk videos in a playlist down in the video description below. We also have a very special offer just for Tech Deals viewers. Save 30% off of everything using discount code tech deals using our link in the video description. We have used Ewin gaming chairs for three years in our office, sitting on them for up to eight hour marathon live streams. They are very comfortable and we are happy to work with Ewin to bring you this special discount and recommend Ewin for all of your gaming chair and desk needs.